All right, so we're back. We got a little bit stuck here because I was messing with the terminal and freaked it out. So Tmux was fine. So Tmux to the rescue. Um, anyway, so we we're talking about all the colors. Uh, and so this sets all the colors up. Now, these uh, uh, terminal escape codes, sometimes called ANSI terminal escape codes, but terminal is a more accurate term. They've been around forever, and they're used to signal the beginning of a color or, or some state change in what is being sent to the terminal. And everything from a line return to I want the color red or, you know, I want just the screen to clear is all here. In fact, most of the time when you see somebody doing some fun stuff with a script uh, that messes with your terminal, you know, like when Docker downloads uh, images, um, it's repositioning the cursor using this, uh, using these simpler methods than like doing something like end curses or something which takes, go, takes over the whole screen. So then I have... Uh, uh, okay, so uh, let's uh, see how long this thing really is. So I I went ahead and I put, so the ultimate goal here is that I need to be able to evaluate how long count me is, right? So if count me, and this is a shell script thing, I use test a lot of times because it's just faster to type than the brackets. Uh, if, if test, if the count me is less than 30, in other words, if the total number of, call of characters is less than 30, then give is greater than 30, then give me a long prompt. Otherwise, give me a short one. And you got to remember this. And so let me get to the magic. The magic is, is that this command prompt, everything in here, all the code in here is executed every time your prompt, you hit enter on your prompt. Every single time your menu prompts, it prompts for something new, it prints that. So... So this code runs every time. So that means it can change the prompt every time. And it sets the PS1, which is the thing that defines what goes in the prompt every time. Uh, it's probably a separate video to talk about how to set the prompt itself and what the what the different values mean. But you can probably guess backslash U is user, uh, backslash H is host, backslash capital W is uh, just the, 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 the current working directory. Uh, it's lowercase w, by the way, is the entire thing, which would never fit. Um, and then we have this fancy thing. So we had to escape this dollar sign here because why? Because this is going to be evaluated. Uh, we want it to. We don't want it. We don't want it to actually run right now. We want it to be evaluated when it's actually called from the prompt. So, uh, so that's why we've escaped that one. And this runs the the 586 line get PS thing to give us a colored branch, which I think is way too long, but whatever. Um, and then this is, and then the P over here is whatever our prompt is. And I, I put a capital P here because I'm going to change it to be uh, a root depending on whether I'm root or not. I mean, that's something I could pretty easily change. So the, the, the approach here is very basic. The approach is do I, I, I just create a long version of the prompt, a short version of the prompt, I cut and paste these these ASCII box characters. If you just look for them, there's all different kinds, and and I put those there and I put these here, and the other variables are colors. So we have a new color, a new color, a new color, and then don't forget your X. X is reset, otherwise the color will bleed into everything else, and that's what's there. Um, and so this runs every time. This this here is a is a worked up version of the of what the command uh, with me would would contain. Uh, it is a little bit. You know, hefty. It does have to do with most. It's like one, two. It's like two shell script calls, which you know, just for every time you use a prompt, normally would be lame. I don't hit enter very often for my prompts, so it's fine for those things to run. I have to check them anyway. A lot of times, these things are, are things that I would type on the command line, so I just go ahead and put it there, right? Uh, some people will will even put an ls in there. I don't think it's a good idea. Um, anyway, so 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 that's it, and then. And then it it prints it. So again, PS this PS I, I put underscore underscore in front of the name because uh, it is in the shell in the shell. I don't want it to conflict with any other name that somebody might want to have along the including me along the, along the way. And so that runs. That's really nothing nothing fancy to it. I mean, it does take a lot of time to kind of get your head around this. Um, uh, it prompted parameter expansion. Yeah, my help. Oh, did you find it? Thank you for that. So. Um, so so yeah and uh this is these are these here are executables so this this runs the command host name and puts it in place right there and this runs uh this is takes the pwd which is the full path to the current working directory and just takes the base name of it which is the same as backslash w capital w so so then you can just put those all in there 
and you you can you can make a, an adaptive prompt. It's not too not too tricky, um, and and that way when you go into something big, you know, uh, you have a big prompt, and then when you go, uh, I, it is. I mean, it it is a little bit overbearing. It does make a very clear separation, right? Uh, but it is nice, and it's it's pretty easy to read, and it's uh, if I, for, particularly for a streamer, I think it's valuable because it gives. I mean, I, I, I want to communicate more information while I'm streaming as opposed to less. So I'm going to make sure I show you. But you'll know me. I In the past, I had just a dollar sign as my prompt. Uh, so so, so there we go. Uh, it's pretty fun. You can go ahead and take a look at it. As I've already said, I've, I've, I've sent you a link to it. But if you go if you go into my dot .files, you will see um, uh, you'll see that file there. Uh, and you can go you can go find it inside a dot files shell.d and look for prompt.bash and prompt-get.sh if you want to copy that. This is just a direct copy and I changed the name. It was git dash prompt before I made it to be named prompt so that I can find it easier. Uh, so have fun with your prompt. You know what? You don't need airline or whatever, you know, any of those other oh my z shell stuff. I mean they're nice, right? Uh, I just did I think the but give our dot files so there's the dot .files links. So you just go in there, um, and uh, honestly, you have more. You can have more control of your prompt. Uh, some people put their time in the prompt. Some people put whether it's been committed or not, when the last save was, uh, and you can you can put everything in there that you want. Uh, but it's important that you you know don't don't get, just be judicious. You know, and and it, it, another thing too, people do is they'll. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this, but they'll 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 put like a completely different color here, and I guess that would be fine. Um, but you know, the science in 2013 that I read on this is that you should be de-emphasizing the prompt so that the attention is on the output. And one of the reasons that I put muted colors for everything is and not extensive, you know, bright colors, is because I want the 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 I want these, you know, the white to like jump out at me. Because I want the prompt, every part of the prompt, including the big old long one, to fade into the background because I want the actual work to come forward and not be hard to identify. And that that is a really big part. That is that is what the science has said is that the best prompts are those that provide minimal backgrounded information. At one point, it was almost entirely grayscale. We couldn't even read it at all. Uh, and that the bright colors should be the actual commands and the actual uh, outputs. Those are much, much more important than 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 the prompt itself. So don't look too crazy. Uh, you'll end up making a mistake in regarding it. <laughs> all right. I'm going to end the video.